So today we're going to do acceleration due to gravity. One of the most important lab in physics. We have been trying to understand acceleration due to gravity for many many years since the time of Aristotle. He famously hypothesized that heavy object fall faster than the light object. Now in this case, the feathers fell to the ground at a slower rate than the bowling ball because of air resistance. We have to remove the air. Two thousand years later, Galileo did same experiment. He dropped mud and feather. And he realized that his insight allowed him to realize that they both fall at the same time and they both should touch the ground at the same time. On this picket fence, so I have to have a box. Uh, so that picket uh, the picket fence which is very uh, sensitive, uh, I don't want to break it. So I, I have a box. Uh, so I'm going to drop it in the box. So set up. So all the tape is parallel to the to the box, and I have a spark beer to uh, collect the acceleration data. So I'm going to plug it in. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on. So this is the turning off switch. Once I turn it on, I'm going to select the second one, the photo gate and place fence. So the photo gate and place fence, and then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit OK again. And now I'm going to hit I'm going to hit the acceleration. Now I'm going to hit build or show. Now I have the acceleration versus time gap. I'm going to press this. So now this is ready to read the acceleration due to gravity. Now I'm going to press this thing. Now I just turned it on. So now all I need to do, the I have to drop the fence in the photo gate, and then this is ready to read the acceleration due to gravity. So our hypothesis is mass doesn't affect the acceleration due to gravity. So I'm going to put it like that. So you see that. Okay, and I'm ready to drop. Make sure I'm going to drop in this way. So ready to drop. There is no mass. <coughs> mass added. So I added no mass and I still got 9.8. So is it 9.8? Yes. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm gonna do it again. This time, I will add 100 gram. I will add 200 gram. Make sure it is activated. Yes, it is activated and it is ready to read. Okay, so I am I'm adding 200 gram. So I have to write it down. And our hypothesis is acceleration due to gravity doesn't affect the, the mass doesn't affect acceleration due to gravity. So this time we should get 9.8 as well. So let's see what happens. I'm holding it here and I'm ready to drop. 9.9. .9. Okay, 200 here, 200 here, let's see what happens, 400 grams, let's see the X. 
calculus and due to gravity. There is a variance it's because my dropping is not perfect and uh, it, I was kind of sitting down while dropping it. If I was more careful while dropping it then I would have gotten say 9.81 every single time but there's always going to be some variance. One thing we now understand without uh, leaving out that the acceleration due to gravity uh, independent to mass. And many years later David Scott experiment that hypothesis on the surface of the moon and David Scott realized that, saw that the hammer and feather touches the surface of the moon at the same time. Well, in my left hand I have a, a feather, in my right hand a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Uh, that proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. Brian Cox uh, did the same type of experiment uh, in a vacuum chamber and when he removed all the uh, air from the room, he saw that the hammer and feather, they both fall at the same time. Release. Isaac Newton would say that the ball and the feather fall because there's a force pulling them down, gravity. 